things that affect the rate of corrosion. There are the factors, certain factors that decides the rate of corrosion. Now I shall discuss uh, four major factors uh, that decides the rate of corrosion. There is the nature of the metal, nature of the corrosion product, ratio of anodic and cathodic area, uh, and nature of the medium. Uh, along with this, we may observe uh, some other factor that also decides the rate of corrosion. That is hydrogen over voltage, uh, presence of oxidizing agent, humidity, polarization, etc. This factor also decides the rate of corrosion. Now I shall take one by one. The first factor that decides the rate of corrosion is nature of the corrosion uh, medium. The factors, uh, there are certain factors which influence the rate of corrosion to a varying degree. Some important factors in that uh, the nature of the metal. Okay, the first one I will take nature of the metal. The tendency of metal to undergo corrosion is dependent on the nature of the metal. For example, I will take two metals like iron and copper. Okay? So, among iron and copper, I will keep these two metals in the atmosphere, okay? in the open atmosphere for a long time. Usually, the iron readily undergo corrosion compared to copper. So, both the metals, same size, same piece, uh, components, I will just introduce, I will keep these metals in the atmosphere, uh, iron, the one metal is an iron, another metal is a copper, but even, uh, but, uh, uh, even though I introduce the same atmospheric temperature, pressure, all the things, but iron readily undergo corrosion. That means, there is something, the nature of the metal also decides the rate of corrosion. Okay. Why the iron readily undergo corrosion? Why not copper? The reason, if you observe the uh, electrode potential of iron and copper, the iron potential, reduction potential is less compared to copper. It is only, it is uh, uh, decided based on the series called galvanic series. The galvanic series is a series of arrangement of uh, uh, different metals and alloys with the increasing order of their reduction tendencies. That is the arrangement of uh, metals and alloys with the increasing order of their reduction tendency. In the galvanic series, we observe iron at the top and the copper below the iron. So, the iron that indicates iron is a very active metal and are more susceptible for corrosion whereas the copper is a less susceptible for, for corrosion. So, in general, the metals with a lower electrode potential value are more reactive and are more susceptible for corrosion than the metal with a higher electrode potential value. Thus, the tendency of metal to undergo corrosion usually decreases with increase in the electrode potential. The tendency of a metal to undergo corrosion uh, decreases with the increase in the electrode potential. As the electrode potential increases, the corrosion rate decreases. And for an active metal, what we call it as so-called active metal, potassium, sodium, magnesium, they are considered as active uh, metals. They are highly susceptible for corrosion. The metals such as gold, silver, uh, platinum, they are less susceptible for corrosion. However, few exceptions in this general trend, as some metals may show the property of passivity. Also, the rate of corrosion, the rate of corrosion that uh, uh, depends upon the difference in their position and the greater the difference, the faster is the corrosion of the anodic metal alloy. That is, say, in the, uh, I'll, I already took an example like iron and copper. Along with this, I will take one more example like iron with the gold. Okay. See, here the difference in the electrode potential of these two is high compared to the iron and copper. So, both when you are exposed to the atmosphere, so iron if you couple with the gold, that time the iron, the anodic metal alloy uh, readily under corrosion compared to the iron which is coupled with the copper. As the difference in the electrode potential of the two increases, the corrosion of the anodic metal alloy increases. The second factor that decides the rate of corrosion is the nature of the corrosion product. 
the formed product itself act as a protective or non protective and that protective layer of product itself um, act as a barrier between the underlying metal surface and the uh, corrosion environment the nature uh, like the metal uh, here uh, the corrosion product formed usually they adhered on the metal surface okay formed on the surface of the metal uh, may or may not act, act as a uh, protective layer the corrosion product deposited if it is insoluble it is not dissolved in an organic or in an atmospheric component if it is a stable uniform and non porous okay these are the conditions if the formed product is insoluble stable uniform and non porous it act as a protective and preventing for further growth okay it should not interact with the environmental constituents it should not uh, break it should be uniform it, sh it should be same thickness and it should be non porous then itself the pro uh, product itself act as a barrier between the underlying uh, fresh metal surface and the corrosion environment thereby preventing the rate of corrosion on the other hand if the corrosion product is soluble that means as soon as the corrosion product like a hydroxide or any other component is formed it is a soluble so it is uh, it uh, uh, is soluble that is dissolved in the atmospheric component if it is unstable non uniform and porous the corrosion continues because it is as soon as the product is formed it is soluble it will not adhered on the metal surface it is not a stable one it is not a uniform it is if it is a porous then rate of reaction increases in such a cases the fresh metal surface is continuously exposed to the atmosphere and corrosion of the metal surface takes place continuously when the corrosion sometimes the formed product itself is a volatile in nature then the rate of corrosion increases because as soon as the product formed it volatilizes leaves a fresh metal surface for further attack so and the corrosion that take place the rate of corrosion it's uh, almost same as in the normal atmosphere even in oxidizing environment sometimes the metals like aluminium chromium titanium they are forming called it as a classic metal they form a oxide layer and they act as a protective film a protective metal surface is formed and preventing for further corrosion even that uh, formed oxide layer rupture they possess a self healing nature that is even they get ruptured they themselves get repaired that means they themselves interact fresh metal surface interact with the atmospheric content forming a stable oxide layer and act as a the formed layer act as a barrier between underlying metal surface and the corrosion the metals such as iron and zinc iron zinc and magnesium they do not form a protective film they usually form a porous film. and are highly susceptible for corrosion and continuous corrosion takes place when exposed to the oxidizing environment okay then the third factor that decides the rate of corrosion is the ratio of anodic and cathodic area the rate of corrosion greatly influenced by the relative sizes of anodic and cathodic area so for example i'll take two metal in one metal a small extraneous scope metal or a small area is considered as an anode and a large area is considered as a cathode whereas in another metal so a small area is a um, cathode whereas a large area is anode okay so among the two metal the one metal undergo fast corrosion okay smaller the, the that metal is a, so it possesses a smaller anode and larger cathode the reason see if the metal has here in the case of small anode and large cathode here a small anode means there is a loss of metal in the form of metal ion liberating electrons as soon as the electron is liberated they migrate towards the cathode it the large area of cathode help for the reduction process the cathode is not involved in the reduction but it help for the reduction process as a result a fast a negative ion is formed a simultaneous reduction process take place reduction take place a hydroxyl ion is formed they immediately combine with ferrous a fast reaction take place as a cathode reaction take place at a faster rate at the same time the anode reaction take Okay, so in the in the case if the metal possesses a small anodic area, that is, a metal has a small anodic and large cathodic area, 
the ratio of anodic to cathodic decreases, then the rate of corrosion is uh, high. The corrosion is more intense. As the ratio decreases, the corrosion rate is uh, increases rapidly. Smaller the anode, larger the cathode, more intense is the corrosion rate. Because at anode, oxidation takes place and electrons are liberated. The process makes the anodic reaction to take place at a maximum rate, thus increasing the corrosion rate. That is, as soon as the electron is liberated, they consumed with the cathode and the reduction reaction takes place at a faster rate at the same time the oxidation reaction takes place. When anode is small and the large cathode, uh, all liberated electron at anode are consumed in the cathode. Therefore, the rate of anode reaction is greater and increases the extent of corrosion. On the other hand, if the cathode is smaller and anode is uh, larger, as a result, here the more amount of electrons are liberated at anode, because large anode, this electron liberated will move towards cathode, but the consumption of electron at cathode is slower because of small area. The reaction site is very small. As a result, the cathode reaction gets slowed down at the simultaneous anode reaction also decreases. So the rate of reaction decreases. So smaller the anode, larger the cathode is the favorable one for the corrosion. So rate of corrosion increases smaller the anode larger the cathode rate of corrosion high the next factor that decides the rate of corrosion is the nature of the medium and the nature of the medium we come across the three factors ph temperature and conductivity the ph of the solution or the ph of the medium that decides the rate of corrosion the rate of corrosion usually increases with the decrease in ph of the medium so it increases with the decrease in pH of the medium. That is, lower pH favors for the corrosion. The reason, lower pH means there is a plenty amount of H plus ion is present. So, when the metal is uh, exposed to the atmospheric content, if the oxidation takes place, the electrons are liberated and the cathode is a reaction site that contains plenty amount of H plus ion. So, reduction of H plus takes place and liberates the hydrogen. So, cathode, the consume of electron takes place at a faster rate if the uh, medium is uh, acidic in nature. So, corrosion increases with decrease in pH of the medium. In general, lower pH of the corrosion medium, higher is the corrosion rate. Or acidic media are generally more corrosive than alkaline or a neutral or a basic medium. This is due to the evolution of hydrogen usually take place at cathode. The hydrogen um, the cathode reaction takes place at faster rate at the same time the anode reaction the pH is less than 3, the, now I consider the corrosion of iron method in uh, how the pH decides the corrosion of iron. When the pH is less than 3, usually corrosion of iron takes place by the liberation of hydrogen. If the pH is in the range of 3 to 10, the iron undergo corrosion in the presence of oxygen, that is in the neutral medium. When the pH is greater than 10, usually Formed hydrated ferric oxide, they get adhered on the metal surface because pH greater than 10 means there is a plenty amount of hydroxyl ion is present. As soon as Fe2 plus is formed, it combined with the hydroxyl ion, insoluble metal hydroxide is formed, they get adhered on the metal surface that itself acts as a barrier between the underlying metal surface and the corrosion environment. The rate of corrosion decreases. However, some metals like aluminium zinc undergo fast corrosion in highly alkaline solution. So, the pH of the solution that also decides the cathodic reaction that you know the pH, the cathodic reaction may take place either by the liberation of hydrogen or by the absorption of oxygen. If uh, the pH is very less then liberation of hydrogen is observed. If the pH is very high then absorption or formation of hydroxyl ion is observed. These are the possible cathode reactions. Then, the next factor that decides the rate of reaction is the temperature. In general, the rate of reaction increases with the increase in temperature. If you consider any reaction that takes place at a faster rate at higher temperature. So, the rate of reaction, corrosion reaction, always increases with the temperature. Higher the temperature increases the rate of liberation of ions. As soon as Fe2 plus ion is formed, they get they uh, migrate towards cathode and they consume the negative ions and they interact with the negative ion forming a corrosion product. It also decreases the passivity of certain metals. Hence, more corrosion is seen at an elevated temperature. 
then the next factor that decides the corrosion is a conductivity the rate of corrosion usually increases with decreasing the conductance of the medium as the conductance of the medium increases ions can move easily to the medium so as soon as a positive ion is formed it migrate towards the uh, cathode side and the cathode somewhere the negative ions are formed they come back they consume and forming is some uh, corrosion problem the rate of and if you consider the rate of wet corrosion with that of the dry corrosion the rate of wet corrosion is far more greater than the dry corrosion as the former is more conducting because the wet corrosion takes place in the presence of conducting medium so the rate of reaction uh, is high or if the conducting medium is exist then the rate of corrosion is high so example is in clay and mineralized soil if the metal is kept in a clay or a mineralized soil the rate of corrosion is greater compared to the metal which is kept in a dry sand soil because there is a migration or in other words the medium conducting medium is not observed along with these uh, factors we may observe some other factor that also decides the rate of corrosion that is a hydrogen over voltage that hydrogen over voltage is nothing but that measures the tendency of hydrogen to get liberated on a metal surface see if the cathode if the ph range is very high then usually the cathode reaction is take place by the hydrogen evolution then the metal with a lower hydrogen over voltage on its surface is more susceptible for corrosion because as soon as uh, uh hydrogen is formed they get they easily liberates the hydrogen from the metal surface and leaving a fresh metal surface that is due to easy liberation of hydrogen yes this the cathode reaction rate is faster this will makes the anodic reaction also faster so the rate of reaction corrosion increases when the hydrogen over voltage on a metal surface is high cathodic reaction will be slower and the corrosion of metal becomes slower even the presence of oxidizing agent that also increases the rate of reaction even the presence of humidity that increases the rate of reaction the presence of salts that increase the rate of reaction these are some other factor that also decides the rate of corrosion thank you